Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of construction materials, specifically focusing on rebar or reinforcing bar. If you've ever seen a construction site, you might have noticed those long, sturdy steel rods used to reinforce concrete structures. But have you ever wondered how rebar is made? In this video, we will explore the entire process of rebar production, from raw materials to finished products, and understand the importance of rebar in construction. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Before we get into the manufacturing process, let's briefly discuss what rebar is and why it's so crucial in construction. Rebar is a steel bar or mesh of steel wires used as a tension device in reinforced concrete and masonry structures. It significantly increases the tensile strength of concrete, which is naturally strong under compression, but weak under tension. By embedding rebar into concrete, engineers can create structures that are more resilient to various forces including earthquakes, heavy loads, and weather conditions. Rebar comes in various sizes and grades, and its design often features ridges to enhance the bond with concrete. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of how rebar is made. The primary raw material for rebar production is steel, which is typically derived from iron ore. The process begins with the extraction of iron ore from the earth, followed by a series of refining processes to produce molten iron. This molten iron is then combined with other elements such as carbon, manganese, and silicon to create various grades of steel. The exact composition can vary depending on the intended application of the rebar, but generally the steel used for rebar contains about 0.2% to 0.6% carbon. Once the steel is produced, it goes through further processing to transform it into rebar. The first step in this transformation is known as steel making, which can occur through two primary methods, the basic oxygen furnace or BOF process and the electric arc furnace or EAF process. In the BOF process, molten iron is converted into steel by blowing oxygen through it, which removes impurities. This method is widely used in integrated steel mills, which have access to iron ore and coking coal. On the other hand, the EAF process uses recycled steel scrap as its primary input, melting it down with electricity to create new steel. This method is increasingly popular due to its lower environmental impact and ability to recycle existing materials. Once the steel is created, it is cast into large slabs or billets, which are further processed into the desired shape. After the steel billets are produced, they undergo a process called rolling. This is where the transformation from a solid billet to a long rebar takes place. The billets are heated in a furnace to a temperature of around 1,000 to 1,200 degrees Celsius, making them malleable. Once heated, the billets are passed through a series of rolling mills, where they are continuously shaped and elongated into long bars. This process not only shapes the rebar, but also improves its mechanical properties through a process called work hardening, where the steel is strengthened by deformation. The rolling mills are equipped with various stands and rolls that shape the steel into the desired diameter and profile. Common diameters for rebar range from 6 mm to 40 mm, depending on the requirements of the construction project. As the bars exit the rolling mill, they are rapidly cooled using a process known as quenching, which enhances their strength and durability. The cooled rebar is then cut to standard lengths, typically ranging from 6 to 12 meters. Next, the finished rebar undergoes surface treatment, which plays a crucial role in ensuring a strong bond with concrete. The surface of the rebar often has ridges or deformations, which help to increase the mechanical interlock with the concrete when they are combined. Various methods can be employed to achieve this, 
including cold working and shot blasting. Cold working involves further deforming the rebar at room temperature to enhance its surface texture, while shot blasting uses small metal beads to clean the surface and improve its profile. Additionally, rebar can be coated with various materials to enhance its corrosion resistance. This is particularly important in environments exposed to moisture and chemicals, which can lead to rust and degradation over time. Common coatings include epoxy, galvanized zinc, and plastic, each offering different levels of protection, depending on the intended application of the rebar. Quality control is an essential part of rebar production. Throughout the manufacturing process, various tests are conducted to ensure that the rebar meets the required specifications and standards. This includes tensile strength tests, bend tests, and chemical composition analyses. Reputable manufacturers adhere to strict guidelines set by organizations such as ASTM International and the American Concrete Institute, or ACI which specify the necessary properties for different grades of rebar. Only after passing these tests can the rebar be deemed ready for use in construction. Now that we've covered the manufacturing process, it's important to understand the role of rebar in the larger context of construction. Rebar serves as the backbone of reinforced concrete structures, providing the tensile strength necessary to support heavy loads and withstand dynamic forces. Whether it's in bridges, buildings, or other infrastructure, the presence of rebar significantly enhances the structural integrity and safety of these constructions. Moreover, the use of rebar can lead to more efficient use of materials, as it allows for the design of lighter and thinner concrete sections while maintaining strength and stability. The process of making rebar is a fascinating interplay of raw materials, advanced manufacturing techniques, and rigorous quality control. From the extraction of iron ore to the rolling and treatment processes, each step is designed to create a strong and durable product that plays a critical role in modern construction. Rebar not only enhances the structural integrity of buildings and infrastructure, but also contributes to their longevity and safety. So, the next time you see those steel rods on a construction site, you'll have a deeper appreciation for the science and engineering that goes into making rebar. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.